Hi guys, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, I will be taking you through the detailed registration process and how to book a slot for your IELTS exam. First, let's have a look at the overview of the registration process. So you will have to go to the official website and read all the information that is available there. Then decide on which format of the test you want to take, the academic or the general. Once you're done with that, select the city from where you want to take up your test. Post that comes the most important part, the date on which you want to appear for the exam. I would suggest keep in mind around 4-5 to five dates in mind so that if you do not have one seat slot available on a particular date, you can move on to the next date of your choice. Then make a payment using the various payment options and register. Once you're done with the registration, you might have to send across some documents. Now, let's have a look at the different options available for registration. So you have two options through which you can register. One is through the British Council and the second is through the IDP. Both these platforms have different processes under them. So let's have a look at that first. Let's begin with the British Council online procedure. You will have to go to the official website of the British Council and read in all the details that's given there. Then select the city and date of your choice. Post that, complete the application form available online and then make a payment. So you have three options for payment when you're registering online. One is online payment where you can use your net banking, credit or debit card or an e-wallet. The second is the demand draft method where you have to make a demand draft payable to the British Council. Third is the cash method where you will have to deposit the cash at an ICICI bank branch using the cash deposit slip and collect the receipt. So the next method is through courier. Let's have a look at the British Council courier method. For this, you will have to download the application form from the British Council official website. I would suggest make two copies of the form and first fill in the form roughly and then transfer all the details onto the fair copy of the form. This will help reduce the rate of errors because you're doing so manually. Then make a payment using the two payment options available. One is through the demand draft which will be payable to the British Council and the other is through cash where you will have to deposit the cash at an ICICI bank branch using the cash deposit slip and then correct the receipt. Provide a blue dark courier serviceable address on your form so that you receive your TRF and your booklet, IELTS booklet at this address. Do remember this is very important because the details will be sent in only to that address. Now let's have a look at the documents that you have to send across once you're done with the registration process. So here, if you're going through the online payment, you have no documents to send. But if you're going to pay using the cash deposit slip, then you will have to scan the receipt and upload it either on the online platform or send it across via courier. Then the demand draft, you don't have much of a choice. You will have to send it through courier. So that's about the British Council method. Now let's have a look at the IDP method of registration. So now let's have a look at the IDP online procedure. For this, you will have to go to the official IDP website and select register for IELTS. Then you will have to select city and date of your choice and fill out the online application form. After this, you will have to pay using the credit card. This is the catch for the IDP online procedure. You can pay only using a credit card, that too, a master or a visa card only. You will get an instant acknowledgement for the seat you have booked. Now, let's have a look at the IDP registration process at the branch itself. For this, you will have to visit the nearest IDP branch and uh, collect the application form from there. Fill in the form and attach the first and last page of your passport and make a payment using one of the three options that is available. The online, the advantage here is for online you can use either credit or a debit card when you go to the branch to register. Then you have the demand draft and the cash method which is just like the British Council method where you will have to make a demand draft payable to IDP Education India Private Limited. Here I'm talking about India registration from India that is so I'm saying India private limited but this will entirely depend on the country from where you're registering. The cash payment is similar again you will have to go to the ICICI bank branch and deposit the cash using a cash deposit slip 
and collect the receipt. Pin up all these uh, details to the application form and hand it over to the IDP staff at the branch. They will transfer all these details from the application form to the online portal and give you an acknowledgement with the tentative seat booking. Let's have a look at the courier method now. The courier method is pretty much similar to registering at the branch. Here you will have to download the form from online or collect the form from the branch itself. Fill out the form, again attach the first and last page of your passport and make a payment through the demand draft or the cash deposit slip. Attach the demand draft or the cash deposit slip to the application form and courier all these details to the IDP head office of your country. It depends from which country you are registering. Then a seat allotment date of your choice will be subjected to availability only. Now, so that's about the different methods of registration. Now let's have a look at the fees and the locations where you can take up your IELTS. So if you're registering for the IELTS, after 1st of April 2018, you have to pay a total sum of Rs 12,659. But if you have already registered before the 1st of April 2018, you would have paid a sum of Rs 12,100 only. The IELTS exam is available across 1,200 locations in 140 countries, whereas in India alone, it is available across 40 cities just offered by the British Council. So this was it about the IELTS registration process. In my upcoming video, I will be taking you through the listening module and the tips and tricks to deal with it. Do stay tuned. Thank you. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.